All right, back with part two of the beginner's install for Lubuntu 1310 Saucy Salamander. Part one, I we went, I showed you the installation process. It took approximately, what, five or six minutes, very, very zippy, even inside a virtual machine, a virtual box. Uh, this is one of the best ways, one of the safest ways to test an operating system before you fully install it. You can use this both in Linux and Windows. Some of you, uh, someone asked what exactly is a virtual box it's basically a machine within a machine uh, one is uh, one is software based one is hardware based maybe I'll, I'll upload a video a, maybe I will upload a video on a virtual machine for beginners or something like that but let's finish this up here this is the default desktop for Lubuntu 1310 Saucy Salamander as of this recording this is not the finalized version this is the final beta I do believe Never install any alphas or betas on your full, a normal everyday use machine because there still may be bugs. So always wait for the finalized stable version no matter what you are installing, period. All right, in, in the install, uh, I omitted or on purposely, I did not click to the options to download updates while installing. If you don't click those options, you will have problems with the machine, with the operating system, and or probably not be able to play music or videos. And then I will show you how to fix that. All right, real quick here, right click if you were coming from a Windows environment, you can change the default wallpaper here. There are some options, not a lot. Keep in mind, this is a lightweight system. I believe the download was less than 700 megabytes. Very light, very fast. All right, we have power going from the bottom right here to the left, moving across, scrolling across, time and date, internet, US keyboard, volume. If you click, uh, right click on the panel here, you have different settings here that you may want to take a look. All right, you have two working desktops here. You can, I believe, left click to iconify all windows. The default browser, I believe, is Firefox. I also uh, would recommend checking out Chromium and Opera. All right, and let's see, file manager. This I believe is called PC man, and you can change how this looks as you could in the windows, of course. Let's go to the start button as you would gravitate to this if you are coming from windows. Now there are, I won't go through every little piece of software. It'll just take too long, but I just want to show you this is a menu submenu type of navigation, click and go as I like to call it. All right, accessories, games, graphics, internet, office, sound and video, system tools, preferences, run and log out. The most important thing here is system tools. Get yourself familiarized with the Lubuntu Software Center, the Software Updater, and the Synaptic Package Manager. So let's go to the Synaptic Package Manager. You would type in your password that you use to install this. Now, if you are having problems with the machine or problems playing multimedia, we will have to install some software. All right, so what I did here, I just click search. And let's just type in Lubuntu. Now, I already did this. So I'm just going to speed it up here. These are the options related to Lubuntu. So, as far as optional software, you want to scroll down and make sure you click Lubuntu Restricted Extras. Okay, this will allow you to play your multimedia stuff. Now, now you can click and install anything here that you want to. Of course, there's, there's no cost here, but you have to install at least this to play your media. Now, once you do that, you would just click a, apply. It will ask you to verify, download, installs. It will install. In my machine, it took about 60 seconds, and you are good to go. So get yourself one last time if you are a beginner, no matter what Linux operating system you use. And I usually recommend Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Zorn. Get yourself familiarized system tools and the Synaptic Package Manager. Very, very important for you. This is where you will go to download and delete different pieces of software. Well, that's it. Let me know what you guys think of Lubuntu 1310. Again, Linux offers many different uh, options when it comes to 
customization or different desktop environments. Here I have the KDE desktop environment. You may have seen this before. I also like Ubuntu Unity and Linux Mint XFCE. Well, that's it for Ubuntu 13.10. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.